It's finally arrived. After three weeks, it's finally arrived. Our cheapest lithium 12 volt battery I could find online in Australia has, uh, has just been delivered. So uh, we'll unbox it and see what we got. So. Do you want to do this one handed? There you go. Alright, packaged pretty well. Fire certificate made in China. There you go. Right, what's this? Before operation, so that's good. You've got a little user manual with it. Let's hook it up. I'm just gonna put the camera down. There you go. It is a power bolt. Never heard of them. Uh, LifePO 400 amp hour 12 volt battery. Uh, what's on the front? Uh, 1280, 1280 uh, watt hours uh, just to use a lithium charger to maximize capacity. So, all the usual. Don't throw in fire, just so you know. Um, and there's the part number down there. So, I purchased this uh, from My Deal Australia. Uh, never used them before. I literally just Googled and done a load of searching for the cheapest lithium battery I could find, uh, 100 amp hour one. And uh, this came up a few times and on my deal, they had a, a discount code. So I actually paid 332 uh, Australian dollars delivered. Uh, and it came from um, New South Wales and I'm based in Perth. So that's why it took three weeks. That's pretty normal over here. Um, so what's that equate to? So it's 237 US dollars or 190 UK pounds. So that is pretty, pretty cheap, I think, considering most of the batteries I use are in well over a thousand dollars. So uh, yeah, this was the absolute cheapest one and we're gonna go through some tests and see actually how well it performs. I'm not expecting miracles, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, so this is, so it's 100 amp hour, um, max discharge and charge rate is 50 amps. Uh, dimensions are right there, 306 by 169, 215, pretty standard size. Uh, is on the larger side for 100 amp hour. Uh, I'd expect to see that size for like 110, 120 amp hour, but that's all good. It's got apparently a built-in BMS and their grade A cells, but can you always believe that? We don't know. Um, so that's pretty standard. The only downside with this battery is you cannot connect it in series or parallel. So you're just relying on just the one battery um, and it's only 2,000 lifetime cycles so it's on the lower end but you get what you pay for half the time so uh yeah we'll, we'll see how it goes so i've just got my meter here let's see what voltage we're sitting at considering it's been boxed up in a warehouse and then shipped to me what have we got 13.2324 volts. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I wasn't expecting it that high. But that's cool. All right. So let's see. It does feel on the heavier side to me. For 100 amp hour. That's on zero. What's that? just pretty much 15 kilos. Um, when I looked at the listing, it was saying it was 13 kilos. So it's actually 15 kilos. That is pretty heavy actually. 
um, for this size battery. I was expecting about nine, 10 kilos for something like this, but there you go. Um, so yeah, there's the brand. And uh, what we'll do is like the other videos, we're gonna be running it on the on this fridge and seeing how long it will run. And we're gonna do some other tests and I'm actually gonna do a strip down. So I'm gonna rip the top off and we'll physically look at the, the build quality inside and the cells. And um, then I'm literally gonna fit it into my car, which has got a fridge inside that runs 24 seven with a little solar panel on the roof. And uh, we're just gonna see over a few months how well it actually performs and go from there. So yeah, we'll get back to you with the, the next bit. Cheers. Okay, so day one. So if you see me other videos, it's pretty similar setup with the fridge. We're just gonna run that instead of on freezer, we're gonna run it at two degrees and just see how long this cheap battery will, uh, cheap lithium battery will uh, run the fridge for. So previous videos, I just used uh, an inline basic shunt, but I've actually been out and, uh, and bought one of these shunts. I'll show you that. This is from Jcar in Australia, but you can get them online. All different brands, but they're the same setup. Um, so it's got an external shunt and a little battery backup. So even when the lithium battery, hopefully the BMS will cut it out when it gets to uh, a certain voltage, then um, we'll still store all the memory with a little uh, nine volt backup battery that I've built into this little box. I just made this up today. So power in from your battery, running through the shunt, straight back out, and that runs around to the fridge. So nice and simple. So we should get some more accurate readings, exactly how many amp hours, rather than guessing how many hours it's ran for and what it's actually consumed. Um, so this will be more accurate test. So yeah, looking forward to it. So if we switch that on, so we're all connected on there battery i put on a 10 amp battery charger and it literally within within about three hours that was fully charged on float and then i took it off the charge and then it sat for a whole day 24 hours um so it's it's at its natural state of charge uh 13.2 uh, volts as you can see there so here we go fridge got four beers in it one for each day, I reckon it's gonna run. So, we'll see. So we we'll switch it on. It's 28 degrees, here in Perth, it's a scorcher today. And set, set on two degrees, so it's ready to go. So that's, the compressor's kicked in. 13.1 volts, current 3.6 amps, it's pulling, because the compressor's running 47 watts and run time, we're in our first minute. So uh, yeah, that goes right up to 999 hours. So uh, yeah, it'd be interesting to see exactly, rather than me guessing when I switched it on and stuff, uh, this will tell us exactly where it's at. So this is day one and uh, yeah, I'll get back to you tomorrow after 24 hours and see how we're going. Um, you can see there, state of charge is 100%. Each bar represents 10%. So yeah, I'll keep keep you informed, get back to you tomorrow. Cheers. A little update, it's been exactly an hour. Uh, fridge is at nine degrees, compressor is still running flat chat, trying to get it down to temperature. Uh, we're still sitting at 13 volts. We've consumed 4.62 amp hours. It's currently pulling 4.1 and uh, yeah, exactly one hour. So, and we've used 53.6 uh, watts of power so far. So yeah, just want to give you a little update of what it's consumed in the first hour, which is always going to be higher because we need to get that compressor down to, down to temperature. So it's going to be running a lot longer. So uh, yeah, get back to you tomorrow. Cheers. Day two. So it's been 23 hours, 38 minutes. So just under a day and we are putting so far 26 amp hours in total so far, which is pretty impressive. Uh, we're putting 4.3 amps right now. It's because the compressor is on, just trying to get it back down to temperature. Um, so 
there's only three beers in there now um but they're nice and cold and throughout the 24 hours i've been opening and closing that lid and today in the garage it's been 35 degrees so uh yeah that fridge has been working a little bit harder so uh, that's good to see so state of the charge was still showing a hundred percent um but yeah 26 amp hours so far that uh, has been used and uh, yeah the battery is holding up so it'd be interesting to see how much longer it will run for um you can see three degrees it's actually set to two um so yeah we'll uh, we'll come back to it tomorrow and uh, see how it's going cheers okay day three fridge is running compressors on right now where are we at 12.7 volts we have consumed a total of 49.8 amp hours uh run time is 48 hours uh so that's pretty much one amp per hour uh, consistently we're drawing 4.3 amps right now uh, so far so good the battery's holding up uh, pretty impressed so far and throughout the day there's only two beers in there now um, throughout the day I've been opening and closing the lid just so it's real well conditions as if you was camping and um, yeah so far so good so it'd be interesting to see how much longer it will run for um, just from experience uh, with lithium batteries is they hold up really well for the first couple of days and then all of a sudden they'll just drop off um, so yeah for a budget one well the cheapest I could find online it's doing pretty good um, the state of charge indicator is still saying a hundred percent I don't know why um, that records it off of the voltage uh, so I don't think that's quite accurate, but as long as we can see how many amp hours it's consumed for how long, that's the good indicator that we can, we know and trust. So yeah, I'll get back to you tomorrow and uh, we'll see where we're at. Cheers. The battery is flat. As you can see, fridge is just literally cut out. Just as I was getting ready to do the video, I was just checking on it. And we can see voltage 11.3 volts. Uh, run time is 71 hours, 35 minutes. It actually cut out at 71 hours and 30 minutes, five minutes ago. And then you can see 74.8 amp hours capacity that we have consumed. So this is a 100 amp hour lithium. And it was fully charged when we started this test. And now it is taken 74.8 amps out of it. And it's flat, 11.3. The BMS hasn't cut the battery out because we can still record a voltage. Uh, so it hasn't completely shut it down, but it's just not enough to power this fridge. So I don't know. 71 hours pretty good for a fridge running at two degrees constantly open and closing the lid and a bit there. I'll have that. Um, so yeah what we're going to do now is i'll put it on a 10 amp uh, battery charger and we'll fully charge it and see how many amps go back into the the battery and then we're going to run the test again on a freezer setting like we've done with the other videos and then see how long that will run and just as a comparison and then we'll do a few few other tests so uh yeah i'll get back to you shortly cheers okay so i've just set up my battery charger this is a victron suitable for lithium and it's only a little 10 amp uh, charger but that'll do the job and I've just disconnected the fridge swapped where the fridge was plugged into my outlet I've now put the battery onto the outlet side and then my charger is now going onto the inlet side so we can record how many amps actually get put back into the the battery I've just reset everything 
So the battery's come up slightly, 11.4 volts, and the state of charge indicator, um, I was having a little look at that, and basically the settings I put it on before the test uh, didn't save. So that's why the bars wasn't going down every 10%. So uh, in the next video, we'll have that rectified. So, um, but what we do is we'll plug the charger in, that's all connected, and we'll switch it on. Find it. There we go. On lithium iron, on charge. There we go. We've got 9.8 amps being put back into the battery, and there's our capacity. So uh, we'll record this and see how long it takes and how many um, amp hours are actually uh, put back into the battery. So we've drawn Liddy 75 amps out. It'd be interesting to see how many actually go back in. So I'll leave this overnight and uh, I'll let you know how we go. Okay, battery charger is complete. We're just clicked over from float to storage charge now. And we've got 13.6 volts in the battery. Uh, total charge time, it took 11 hours and 53 minutes. Um, but we've actually put in 110 amps of charge. Now, before we carried out the test, I put that battery on a charger for 24 hours and we got to that stage and then I disconnected the charger and let the battery sit for 24 hours. So it found its natural level of charge, its natural voltage, um, and then we started the, the test and we only pulled out 74.8 or just under 75 amps out of the battery. So I was expecting around about that to go back in, but we've actually put back in 110 amps. So uh, not quite sure what happened there, um, but what we're gonna do uh, in the next video is to do the test that we've done in other videos, if you wanna check them out, and basically have the fridge onto a freezer setting, uh, minus 18, and see how long it will run for. The, all the other batteries, uh, the budget ones and the expensive ones, ran them for around the 50 to 60 hours. So it'd be interesting to see the, the cheapest battery I could find online, see how long that will uh, run for, and then that'll be a comparable. And it'd be interesting to see how many amps we can get out of it this time. So uh, yeah, stay tuned and uh, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll get on to the next video. Cheers.